out the fridge, licks his lips. Good man. He's pulled himself up there instead of me. Sit. Good boy. Well done. So he's quite fixated. He won't walk away. That's another sign. Just be mindful. Oh, there he's his way. Good boy. Good. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Good work. Well done. Good boy, Diesel. And see how I'm kind of ahead of Diesel's shoulder. So this way. And I turn when you can still see me. Good boy. And he's going to want to pee. He always does pee on the way back. Good boy, still pretty relaxed, aren't you, mate? Good boy, good. Head. I'm never pulling straight back down from his head to his tail and coming across his body to come stop. Good boy. Nice work. And while he's not, uh, 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 good, very good. While he's stationary, I can get in front of him. And there's the dogs. Good boy, Diesel. Good boy. While he's ahead of him, while I'm ahead of him, I've got more patrol season. He's too back to there. He's not fixated as much on the dogs. You keep an eye on their ears and the mouth and his overall posture and stance. Good boy, mate. Good, Diesel. Let's go. Good. Oops, you missed it. And I quickly turn his head. You've got to turn his head as quickly as you can and with as little conflict as possible. And this is the only way, this is not the only way I do things. Stop. But Diesel don't, doesn't trust me heaps yet. I haven't got a play game with him and he's not really taking food. So I'm measuring Good boy, mate. I'm working on his posturing and his um, and the distance because I don't really have much else to control. I don't want to lock, put the. I don't want to go heavy on him this way because if I go too hard, he might turn on me because he's not a pussy cat. It's a really cool dog, and a good Rottweiler like him shouldn't be soft. Come on. But you've got to have a bit of respect between you both. It's definitely not a pussycat and if I just go hard early and I haven't got a relationship, I could be in a lot of trouble. Good boy. Stop. Good, Diesel. Sit. Come on, sit. Good man. You are handsome. Good boy. He won't even tolerate heaps of eye contact from me yet, so I might want him just staring at you. Good boy. This way now, come on. And see how I don't use the lead to pull him to tell him where I'm going. I ask him and then I move my legs and he follows me nicely. Whereas if I just pull him wherever he goes, is I don't want him waiting for the lead. I want him to see me and choose to come with me rather than just drag him around. Because 
You can't drag a Rottweiler very easily. Come on, mate, let's go. Now, if I say let's go, you see how I'm ahead of him and it took hardly any effort to lift his head and move him. So you've got to play your angles right with the big dog. We've got a good grip, can't break free. And this is one of the Ironsworth death grip leads. Oh, I 100% trust this equipment. I've had this lead for like six months, it's fantastic. Good boy. You can't pull out of it, it's a slip lead, it's got a limiting toggle on it, so it can't really take him. Oh, your mum's here, Diesel. Good boy, he's just spotted Obi and the goats. Good boy, so he's going, uh uh, stop. Good, he already knows the stop command pretty well. But see, I stop myself and him and the dog's down there, and I put myself between him and the dog just a little so he can still see me. Good boy. So if I'm behind him, he's out on his own and he'll make all his own shots. But see, all I had to do is take a step there and he's turned his head and come with me instead of me being behind him and relying on voice. And if he's really pumped up, he's not even going to be hearing me or I might not be able to. Come on. Good boy. Stop. Good, Diesel. Good boy. All right, let's go. Okay. Anyway, Mum's here, so... Let's go put him away.